All right, so this morning we've got uh, our spring born calves. So they're all, I think, about eight to nine months old. And we've just recently weaned that we're getting ready to run them through the chute, work them. Basically, we're going to deworm them, vaccinate them, castrate the bulls, and a couple that need to be dehorned as well. But with that said, let's get into it. There we go. There we go. We don't have to take everybody all at once. Come on. Come on. You two go on in there and I'll be a good one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Remember, you might be. Alright, so we're vaccinating with both um, our respiratory, our modified lives. It's going to be uh, BVD, BRS, BIBR, um, PI3. As we always do. And precious heifer. Yep, heifer, so no castration necessary. We're going to deworm her. Just a pour on. We usually hit them with an injectable dewormer in the spring. Hit a pour on right now. What you doing? Just petting the cow. You petting on it? She's really nice. She really sweet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're pretty gentle calves. Mm -hmm. Giving them some love? Mm -hmm. There you go. Give her a kiss. You give them lots of love? <laughs> Daddy, do you know what I did with the cow with the robot? All right, so we're ear notching them using this tool here just to get a tissue sample for BVD, <laughs> bovine viral diarrhea testing. Send those in to the state lab, they get us results back. And they've done the test on blood in the past, now they prefer a tissue sample. So we'll get back, get that tube labeled. You're free to go, little lady. Brittany, get over here. Brittany, over here. Brittany, come. Brittany, come on. Baby. Good girl. Heifer, but this one is horn. So, her on it. Or we can control her head. Yeah. Not much horn. She's still young. You can see there. We're going to do a nerve block. Alright, and so this is the, the corneal nerve. Runs basically in that groove between the eye and the horn. Gonna feel for it. Flood that area with lidocaine. Repeat the same thing on the other side. I don't want to speak too soon. This heifer's actually being really good. Okay. Now we're gonna let her off. We'll vaccinate her. Dewormer, do those other things, give that lot of cane a couple of minutes to take effect, and then uh, show you how we dehorn them. All right, so several different types of dehorning tools and ways to do it. Um, these are relatively small, so we're going to use a smaller dehorner. We'll fit it down over the horn there, cut it off, and then we'll use uh, a hot iron there to cauterize and seal any um, vessels. But it should be good and numb now. We did that a few minutes ago. Vaccinated or dewormed, we did all those things while we were waiting. So now we'll show you how this works. All right, so we'll show you how it works. Mm -hmm. 
little bleeding, very little discomfort, just how we want it. All right, now I'm gonna repeat the same over here. Very little vocalization is what we're looking for. Now we'll get our cautery. Not cautery, but just hot iron. Just help control the bleeding a little bit. Not bleeding much anyway. You see very little, very little reaction from her. So I think we got a good nerve block. These two are our two bottle casts from back in the spring. You've been watching our channel very long. Blue and normal. Neither of these two just being bottle caps and never even tagged them in the spring, so kind of a random number, but just some leftover tags we had from actually our stalker calves a year ago. Just so we can possibly identify them, tell them apart, especially because we're about to test them. Okay, so when it comes to castration, there's a number of ways to, to hold them, secure them, you know, beyond just being a shoot. We like to use this leg hook here. Pulls that leg up out of the way. Okay, so just use a very sharp knife. Grasp the, the scrotum. We'll pull the, the scrotum itself down, testicles up. Cut off uh, roughly the bottom third of the, of the sack. There we go. Two testicles hanging there. Make a V with my hand as I'm pulling out with my right hand. Make that V with the left and just push through. That's an appetizer right there. Watch to the end of the video and we'll show you a recipe how we enjoy those for dinner. Repeat the same thing over there. Two testicles. This video will also be required viewing for any young men who ever want to date my daughter. Just so they know what we are capable of. Actually, I ought to get her on camera doing this. Yep, that may be even more effective. Hey, Mike. Spray a little disinfectant. Shouldn't be too many flies, although today is unseasonably warm. A little fly spray. And he is castrated. Got my grocery sack to put my appetizer in. Put his leg down. See very very little distress. Uh, they handle it much better than I think most men would agree that, that you would otherwise expect them to. So the beauty of the operation in action. Get up. Get up. Step on up there, boy. All right, tag him, babe. All right, what number is that, Kimber? 67. 67. All right, random number. There you go. Just squeeze it. Did you get it? Good job. There it is, good job. All right, now, now make the V with your hand. Pushing down. You didn't, you didn't pay attention to my previous video. Uh, there we go. Got it. Repeat it for the other side. <sighs> All right. So a little bigger horns on this guy. I think this is only. I think it was just two we had to dehorn. So but gave him plenty of time. We nerve blocked him. I guess I didn't video that. You can see blood there where we stuck him. Exactly what we want. Go ahead and get a little arterial blood there. 
say, obviously, he's good and numb. That's what we like. There we go, looks pretty good. Very little reaction from him again. That's what we're going for with the nerve block. All right, I'm sorry, buddy. That's what we like to say. Ear notching for our BVD test. There's our sample. Talk a little bit about, I guess, why we cast straight. Obviously, if if, if this bull was uh, yeah. intended for breeding purposes, we would not castrate him. Um, he actually could be registered, um, but as we were cutting him, no need to. It's not. Uh, breeding quality and so animals that are intended you know to enter our food chain go to the feed yard mm -hmm. eventually um, advantages to having them castrated um, in terms of that's what mm -hmm. the taste we prefer uh, there's just no reproductive need for them so more valuable too as steers versus bulls when they go through the feeder cattle sales and whatnot. You can see very little distress. That's castrated bull calf or steer calf now. Let's see what's in the bag. <laughs> well, that make a nice appetizer tonight. All right, that was our last one. We got him done. Appreciate my help. Yep. The kids are over there somewhere playing. Yeah, oh, that they, they built a fort. So yeah, they're playing in there. You can see a lot of the other calves have gone down there in the barn. We'll get you a little closer up view of them in a second, just to show you how how little you know they are bothered by the fact that you know they were just vaccinated. A couple of them dehorned. Oh, uh, was it five or six bulls were were castrated? So, but as you can see on his face, not too upset. That's what we like. Keep it keep it low stress. Um, starting to get a little warm. Um, you know, it is the middle of November. Uh, I quickly had to come out of my long sleeves, but I uh, appreciate you watching. Oh, this isn't in this video because we're going to show you how we cook those a little later on. All right, and as you can see, calves, they've calmed right down. We finished working on them maybe 10 minutes ago. They're all coming back in there, ready to come to a feed bunk, um, including the ones even that we had dehorned. Uh, or with our testicles, you can see, um, we already kind of rinsed them off. But now the next step, we cut the tunic off. And so you need a fairly sharp knife. And you can see as we get in there, kind of why we call them oysters, mountain oysters. Um, kind of resembles an oyster in many ways. Kind of peeling it off that that the membrane or tunic on the outside is very tough. Um, not really ain't good to eat. That's that's what you're actually wanting. I'm just gonna keep doing that. The these smaller ones actually tend to be, in my opinion, a little better for eating. Let's do that for all these, then we're gonna Put them in a little salt water, let them soak for just a little while. Next, we're, we have taken and patted these dry. Um, so next, we're going to then put them in the egg wash and just really coat them really nicely. Um, and then we're going to go and put them into a breadcrumb and just roll that around. And what we've done with that is we've salt, uh, put a little bit of garlic salt and pepper in there to uh, give it a little bit of seasoning and taste. And then we're gonna put it straight into the uh, skillet and we're gonna let that fry a couple minutes on each side so it's nice golden brown. All right, let's try them out. It's pretty hot.
delicious. Pairs perfectly with an ice cold bush light. Double dipping. Don't tell anybody. All right, and so proof that Kaylin will actually eat them. How is it? Not as bad as you were thinking, was it? <laughs> Tastes um, like an oyster. Yeah, it's fried. So there you have it. Uh, we appreciate everybody watching. Of course, thank you for tuning in as always. We should have another video coming up here just in the next few days, maybe a week or more before we actually get it um, edited and posted of us loading up and shipping off those stalker cattle. But as always, we remind you to eat beef. It doesn't matter whether it's traditional beef or swinging beef. And God bless. Yeah.